Hey guys, and welcome to another daily shaving video. So I wanted to take this time to welcome all the new wet shavers to this community. So those guys out there who just got into wet shaving, just getting going, or for those of you who are out there thinking about doing it, kind of exploring your options, I wanted to dedicate this video to you. And specifically in this video, I wanted to use stuff that is just more kind of like basic stuff. Just because, you know, in my videos I use very, you know, lots of different brushes and shaving razors and razor blades and shaving soaps and aftershaves and all that stuff. I don't want this to seem like something that's insurmountable to you, that's just so overwhelming because of all the different options out there. Because it's really not that difficult. But I definitely understand through watching my videos you might get that impression. Like there's just so much out there, you don't know what you want. You should get a boar hair, a badger hair, a pure badger, best badger, super badger, a silver tip. Should you get a... Safety razor, one with a slant head, which different type of artisan shaving soap. You know, there's just so many options out there. I don't want this to seem like something that would that's just overwhelming and would deter you guys from this awesome thing that gives you great shaves and it's going to save you money in the long run if that's what you're really looking for in this. Um, I know that I use a lot of those things, but that is not necessary to get a great shave. So I picked out specific things for this shave that just give fantastic results that I'd be happy using for every single shave, for every single day for the rest of my life. And I truly do mean that. These are things that will give you awesome shaves that, and you don't need all the other gear and all that stuff. So if that's not what you're looking for, I don't want that to be something that would deter you guys or make you seem like you have to invest a lot of money because that's truly not the case. So anyway, welcome to you guys. And you know, I hope through my videos you see my passion for this. You know, It's something that's definitely been something awesome in my life that adds that has added a lot of quality to my life and I just really want to share that with you guys because I was just getting such terrible shaves before, it's something I hated. When I found this, it was just such a drastic difference for me. I was getting awesome shaves that were super close that I really enjoyed. So that's why I made these videos in the first place to help inspire other people and to put a resource out there so you could see someone doing this who's getting great results. So this is, video is in your guys' honor and um, without any further ado, I'm just going to talk about what I'm using for this shave. So, for the razor, I'm going to be using the Maggard MR7 Safety Razor. Maggard Razors puts out their own line of safety razors with stainless steel handles, 20 bucks each. These are fantastic razors. They actually shave a lot like a Merker 34C, actually almost exactly like a Merker 34C. So if you're looking to get a great razor, a great price, 20 bucks Maggard Razors. And this is the MR7, and you might see here it looks a little bit different. It actually has a little bit more to the handle here. Um, it's a longer handle uh, that it comes with, but I don't like longer handle razors, so I just honestly took a hacksaw to the end of this, spent 10 minutes, took it off, took a file to it, sandpaper, and I shortened it. You don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. I just like shorter handle razors, so that's what I did, and this is perfect for me. $20 razor. In here, Persona Lab Blue Blade. Persona blades are awesome, and they're a great deal. You can pick up a 100 pack for 12 to 14 bucks. Um, I actually looked up, this is my first 100 pack I got from them here. I got this in November of 2013. It's now February of 2015, so it's been about 16 months. I have maybe 10, 15 blades left in here, something like that. This will last me 16 months. Awesome deal. You're not going to be spending the type of money you're using on cartridge razors, that's for sure. Alright, shaving brush. For today's shave, I'm going back to the Omega 10066. Awesome boar hair brush made by Omega, an Italian company. This is one that I like. I honestly picked it out because I like the dimensions and the style of the handle and the color. Any Omega brush you get is going to be great in my experience. I have tried a lot of their different brushes and all of them have been fantastic. There's none that I do not like. And this is going to run you eight or nine bucks, something like that. Really cheap. And that will last you for the rest of your life as long as you take good care of it. Shaving soap. Today I'm using the Soap Commander Passion. Great, awesome stuff. And there are so many different awesome artisans out there making fantastic shaving soaps. You know, look at my review videos. I put out those review videos not, well, first of all, I enjoy using all these different products. This is, like I said, a hobby of mine, so I like trying all these different artisan shaving soaps out there. Um, but don't let that be overwhelming for you. It's mostly meant as a resource, so if you're looking to invest your money into one of these products, you can see what's about, learn a little bit more, see what kind of results that I got with it. I love Soap Commander Soap. Here it is in the Passion scent. Uh, it's actually closed up right now. I'm going to put a little bit of tap water here on the top to kind of uh, help bloom the top of the soap. What that means is you're just putting some hot tap water on top of your soap puck. And what that does is it absorbs into the soap and loosens it up a little bit. So it makes loading a little bit easier. And it's a harder soap. And um, 
for harder shaving soaps, it's a great way to load your soap easier. If you have a softer soap, I really don't think it's necessary. What else is there? Oh, post shave. For today's post shave, Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Pick this up somewhere around five bucks. So let's add that all up. Um, so let's say Maggard MR7, 20 bucks. Persona Lab Blue Blades, let's say 13 bucks. We're at 33 bucks. We'll give this eight bucks. So 33, eight, we're at 41. Um, this is about 15. I can't remember the exact price of Soap Commander right now. I should have looked up. So 15, so we're at 56 bucks. 61, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think we got it all. Razor, blades, soap, brush, aftershave. Awesome. You can see, it's a little bit of an investment up front, but these are things that are gonna last you. It's not like invest every month sort of thing, as it often is with things that are available at most like pharmacies, grocery stores nowadays, like the stuff in cans or uh, cartridge razors, stuff like that. Anyway, I just wanted to start with that. So welcome to all you new guys out there. If you're thinking about it, definitely go for it. And if you just started, I hope you guys are getting great shapes. It's not, if not, reach out to me. I'll try to get back to you if I can. All right, just got out of the shower. Facial hair is nice, hydrated, ready to go. I shaved last night. I haven't made a video in a few days. I've been feeling a little bit sick recently. I'm feeling a lot better today, but I have been shaving, just, uh, just not filming, just kind of a quick shave there on the side for myself. All right, while I was in the shower, I was soaking my brush here in this mug. Got my sink filled up with hot tap water. Gonna rinse out the brush. There we go, bring it out. And I've got my puck here with this little bloom water on top. This is kind of like a mini soap bloom. Most people do it for about 10 minutes. This is however long, two minutes, something like that. I'm gonna take this water, pour it out, and add it to my facial hair. This stuff still has a lot of soap and a lot of the good properties of soap, so it's a good foundation for your lather to lay down on your face. And this Passion Soap by uh, Soap Commander, the scent, really nice. It's got a nice, kind of like uh, woodsy sweetness to it, kind of a little bit of spice in there. It reminds me a lot of, honestly, Katie's uh, LPV, La Pimente de la Vie. Um, so awesome scent. Really, really fantastic. This is my favorite Soap Commander scent thus far. All right, got my brush here. Gonna load up. All right, tons of soap load up. I probably load up too much here. While I'm loading up, I'm kind of going through some of the basic stuff here just so you new guys uh, get a little bit of a handle of what I'm doing here. Just I want to explain kind of these little things I'm doing. I'm looking here to have enough soap that it's kind of pasty between the bristles of the brush. I hope you can see that. All right, add yeah, a little more bar to my facial hair. You got to hydrate your face before you shave. I always shower before I shave, always, 100% of the time. It's a great way to clean out your facial hair, uh, get any debris, oil off your skin, stuff like that, and you hydrate your uh, hairs on your face. They absorb water, they plump up, makes them easier to shave off. All right, gonna build my lather. So as I'm building up my lather here, um, I'm looking for a certain consistency. It's something you'll learn as you uh, shave more and build more lathers. What I'm doing is I'm taking my uh, brush here and just dipping the tips of the hairs in the sink water here. I have hot tap water filling up my sink and just work it into a lather. It helps build it up. You can control the water content of your lather uh, more easily this way. All right, I am extremely happy with this lather. Once I'm done building it, I kind of paint over it here to help even it out a bit. It just looks nicer, honestly. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful lather. All right, got my razor here, ready to go. This is the uh, second shave on this blade in the razor. Wet it in the water, line up with my sideburn here and get going.
All right, awesome first pass. Nice and close, tons of slickness behind. The Soap Commander soap is really some slick, voluminous stuff. After my first pass, I no longer like like work the lather on my face. I just paint it on. You know, the hairs are pretty much cut off your face at this point. So you don't really need to uh, spend all the time working it in. All right, second pass, I'm gonna go cross grain. So I just cut this mole on my face. I cut it uh, like two days ago, and I cut it yesterday when shaving, and then I just got it again. So it's you're gonna see this thing bleeding. Sorry about that. All right, excellent. Very happy with that. All right, so now I'm gonna do a second full, or a third full pass here. Uh, most people in the last pass go, uh, so I did a with the grain going in this direction, then I did a cross grain going in this direction. Now I'm gonna do a cross grain in this direction. My skin just can't handle going against the grain straight up, um, but it does very well with cross grain in both directions, because the hairs, lie in just slightly different ways on your face and it's a good way to just, it's a slightly different pass on your face to get a little bit closer. Staying clear of that mole. I'm honestly, that thing is so big I'm surprised I don't cut it more often. All right, excellent. Very close, this feels great. My skin feels really nice and hydrated. In terms of post shave, Soap Commander is one of the absolute best out there. So I'm going back to the brush, cleaning out the lather in the brush with my hand. Look how much is in there, crazy. So I'm gonna spread around here, my left hand, and I'm feeling around on my face for anywhere I wanna get a little bit closer. Then I hold the razor in my right hand and clean up those areas. All right, just feeling around here, nice and smooth, smooth. Got all the hairs here under my nose. All right, very happy with that. I'm gonna clean up for some final remarks. All right, excellent shave. Definitely very close. Feels awesome. Very happy with that. My neck feels great. Post shave on this soap is just absolutely top notch. Probably the best out there. Best post shave I think has got to go soap commander. Their stuff's awesome. They got some shea butter in there and I think that that's what does it. That stuff is just amazing. And love the scent. The passion scent for the soap commander. Probably my favorite. Alright. For today's post shave, like I mentioned before, Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm. Awesome stuff. It's available at most like grocery stores, CVS's, stuff like that. So it's something that you guys have accessible that you don't need to purchase online. Because unfortunately, 
a lot of these other products, you know, traditional wet shaving is taking off for sure. There's so many of us out there, but it's still a growing movement, so you can't buy most of these things at, uh, at normal grocery stores or uh, pharmacies, anything like that. You do need to order most of these products online. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, you can use more, if you want to call it basic equipment. This stuff is not basic. It's stuff that I use every day. It's in my regular rotation because I love this stuff. It's still got a great price, but aside from just having a great price, it's going to give you better shaves, closer shaves with less irritation. In the long run, if you're really looking to save money, this is also a way to save money. The blades are so cheap. Like I said, a 100-pack I'm still working through 16 months ago. And the 100-pack's like 13 bucks, something like that. And these artisan soaps out there, you can really pick up just about any of them. They're all really fantastic, and I do mean that. I've tried most of them out there. And they are all really great. Look through some of my reviews, pick out one. Soap Commander is definitely among that recommendation, and there's so many others. I don't want to mention them all here because I don't want to forget any of them just because there's so many awesome ones available. Um, but Maggard Razors is a great resource because they sell most of these artisan soaps on there. They sell Omega shaving brushes, they sell Persona blades, and, and aftershaves. I don't know if they carry Nivea um, by itself, but you can definitely pick that up locally. Um, which is what I do and then their own line of house razors are great awesome first razor awesome still razor like I love this thing it gives great shaves I'd use this thing every day you know and be perfectly happy with it um, and I do I email Maggard I want them to make a short uh, you know travel size these are often called travel size handles I like these smaller handles um, just because I feel like I can hold it better in my hands and really like control the razor, and plus if I want to switch direction, I can just flip it like this in my hand, if that makes sense, just because it fits through this little area here on my hand. Anyway, love this stuff a lot, love wet shaving, I love safety razor shaving, I hope you guys see that passion, I hope you guys realize this is something that is just, it's really awesome and available out there, and it's, uh, I hope it's not, I hope I have not uh, made this overwhelming or an unapproachable thing for you guys, so anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone's support with this and more videos to come.